Okay, in questions like this, we need to use a little bit of trial and error. Let's assume that not all the ice melts, so the water ends up at 0 degrees C. Let's calculate how much energy the water can give to the ice if the water cools from 18 degrees C to 0 degrees C. So assume water goes to 0 degrees C. Then Q is equal to MCW delta T which is equal to, we've got 600 grams of water, so 0 0.600 times 4,186 times the change in temperature, which is 18. So this gives us 45.1 kilojoules. So we divide this by 1,000 to get it into kilojoules of energy released. Okay. Now let's see how much energy we need to melt all the ice. Okay, so Q is equal to ML, and this will be L of fusion. So we've got 250 grams of ice, so that's 0 0.250 times 3.33 times 10 to the 5. And so this gives us 83,000, so 83.2 kilojoules is required. Okay, so we require more energy to melt the ice than we can actually get from cooling this water. So that tells us that not all the ice melts. So at the end, we have water and ice in thermal equilibrium. So our answer to A is 0 degrees C. Okay, now part B said how much ice remains. We can work out how much ice melted because this energy, the energy is the water cools from, zero degree, from 18 degrees C to 0 degrees C, go, can go into melting the ice. So 45.1 times 10 to the 3 is equal to the mass of the ice that melts times the latent heat of fusion, so times 3.33 times 10 to the 5. So the change in the mass, or the mass of the ice that melts, is equal to 0 0.13556 kilograms, or 136 grams. So this is the amount of ice that melted. So the mass of ice remaining is the 250 grams minus the 136 grams that melted. So that gives us 114 grams of ice remaining.